got my face big. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. If you want to see that, keep on watching. Let's get started. I'm using my Urban Decay Primer portion to prime her eyelid. This will prevent the eyeshadows from creasing and it will help it last for longer. Now I'm using my MAC Raisin Blush. I'm using as a transition color with a blending brush just to like blend everything flawlessly. This is a nice burnt orange kind of blush. I love this blush. It's gorgeous. My favorite blush ever. Now I'm using my Wet n Wild Vanity Palette and, and I'm using this beige color just to apply on her eyebrow bone as a highlight. So now I'm using the blending brushes to blend out the colors so it can be flawless. Now I'm using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk just to apply on her eyelid. This will help the eyeshadow color be more vibrant. Now I'm going back with a blending brush just to blend everything together. Now I'm using my BH Cosmetics Eyes on the 70 palette. I'm using a blue eyeshadow. It's a blue with shimmer on it. So it's gorgeous. I love blue colors. <laughs> I love blue eyeshadow. It's my favorite. I'm just applying it on her eyelids. And this palette is everything. Like I love the colorful. I love the colors on the palette. So now I'm using my Wet n Wild Vanity palette again. I'm using this chocolate brown just to apply on her crease to create like a cut crease. And then I'm gonna blend it with a blending brush. Always blend, guys. Like you can, you, you always can blend, blend, blend. Just blend, you know, blend away, blend. So now I'm using the Max Raisin Blush just to blend everything together, you know. <laughs> Yeah. So now I'm using this body glitter glue I got from eBay. This will help me apply the glitters on. And I'm using this gorgeous blue glitters from eBay. I love this glitter like and this blue like oh my gosh it's amazing I'm just packing on the glitter like so Doing the other eyes this glue is quite hard to take off but you have to um, you can apply water on it leave it for two or one minute and then like kind of just take it off with a makeup wipe and it's gonna come off but it's nice <laughs> and it was only one pound so yeah Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm going back to the vanity palette and applying the brow bone color, the beige color for the brow bones, just to highlight it. Now I'm using my NYC liquid liner just to make that wing liner. This girl is crazy! <laughs> oh no! So I'm applying the mascara just before I apply her eye. I mean, what do you call it? Eyelashes, yeah. I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispies lashes and the Duo Lash Glue. And then now I'm applying this champagne color. It's like a shimmery champagne color from the Vanity Palette. I'm applying it on a in a tear dot area. Now I'm just wiping the excess glitter off her face. So yeah, she's applying some cream on her face just to moisturize her face. And now I'm using my, I'm using Lancome's Tent Idol 24 Hours Foundation with a buffing brush from Real Techniques just to apply the foundation. This foundation is nice and it smells really nice. I love the smell. Like, yeah, I love it. And I did, I did go over her neck with a bit of the foundation because we want it to be the same color as the face. Now onto my favorite part, I'm going to highlight her face with the NARS Raging Creamy Concealer with a Beauty Blender. I love this concealer and I love the Beauty Blender. I used to use them ones from eBay. Oh my gosh, they're hard. And this one is super soft. I love it. It does a really good job. Especially when it's a bit damp. Forehead, nose, chin, and her eyes, a cupid bow. Don't worry, she looks crazy, but it's gonna all come together at the end, yeah? Just blending everything together. My battery died, so I did set her face off camera because I couldn't wait. I didn't want the concealer to, to crease before I set it, so I had to set it off camera. So, yeah, I did use the Ben Nine Banana Powder and the Real Techniques setting brush to set the concealer. And then I'm just going over with a foundation brush just to blend everything together. Now, I'm using my Sleek Contour Kit. Just to contour her face, I'm gonna contour her cheekbones, her jaw lines, her forehead, and her nose, and her temples. I really didn't need to contour her nose, but 
I just felt the need to <laughs> for some reason. So now I'm applying my overall powder. This is the Ben 9 Chestnut Powder. I'm using the BH Cosmetic Blush Powder. I mean, <laughs> powder brush to apply um, all over my face. So yeah, now I'm going to apply my Max Raisin Blush. Oh, I can't stress enough how I love this blush. Ah, oh, this blush is everything. Like, it's a must have. If you don't have it, go and get it. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm going to highlight her face with this Kiko eyeshadow in 208. Look at that glow, you know, she's glowing. <laughs> so now onto the lips i'm using this laval lip liner in plum wine just to contour her lips and then i'm gonna use the sleek bare oil lipstick this is a matte lipstick see it's like a peach peachy nude color i love it and then yeah over that I'm using the NYX lip gloss in mauve so now I'm going back to the vanity palette when by wet and wild just to apply that chocolate brown color on her lower lash lines and then blend everything together and finally she's applying some mascara on her lower lash on her lower lashes and yeah that's the final look guys don't she look gorgeous like seriously so yeah that's all thank you so much for watching and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thumbs up if you liked it and yeah comment if you have anything to say or any questions and i'll let you guys watch the bloopers yeah Anyway, everybody needs a primer. It's Except essential for me. Except from her, she said. Okay, Gloria. <laughs> <laughs>